Hey everyone, Dan Cassette here with another Pilates session. Let's start with a wide base today. Uh, I want you to still think about your tailbone being right over the arches of both feet. So just practice for a moment, shift to your heels and toes, shift to your heels and toes. And I want you to just find the front of your balance, the back of your balance, and then find the middle. So I want you now to settle your pelvic bone, the tailbone right over the middle of both feet. Now just um, for a little knee health and safety, I want you to bend your knees and make sure your knees are traveling over your toes, whatever direction your toes are pointing now. And just take them into a gentle knee bend and up and repeat, bend and up. Okay, so having that complementary angle, even on an outward rotation right now, that's gonna help protect your knees from twisting. So I want you to find a safe and comfortable ascent and descent. Okay. Now, already you may feel that starting to warm up your hips. I want you to reach out to a big X. In a big human X, I want you to now think of shortening, if almost if there's a string pulling your right elbow to your right knee, if you're mirroring me. Allow your head to fall to the right side and you're shortening on this oblique. So you've got a lateral flexion of the spine. Bend the second knee and come down into the middle. You look like Spider-Man on the wall. From here, you're gonna stretch that first leg and now the lateral flexions on your other side, your other ear can fall towards the side, elbow close to knee. Push through the foot and rise up to your X shape again. We're gonna reverse and just go back the way we've come. Belly to spine as you drop down. So when you're in the Spider-Man position, I don't want any funny spider butts. Drop the tailbone. Stretch long on this side now belly lifted in the middle as you reach out and push the floor away with the supporting foot. Now, do another little balance check. Make sure you're not relying on your heels only. Travel down, healthy knee positions, dropping into your center position. Stretch long, keep the belly lifted, stay over the middle of each foot, rise up. Down, and down, and across and up, let's do two more. Down, down, reach, reach, down, down, reach, reach. Let the hands come down, bend your knees and step your feet in. Take them to about hips distance apart and rotate into parallel alignment. Now I want us to soften the knees and keep that spine in neutral. So again, no bottom sticking out, Keep your tailbone dropped and descending straight to the earth. Rise up. It's a little Achilles stretch, but not super deep. Don't let the knees do funny things. Keep them in parallel. Descend. Feel that your abs are awake up the front side. They're not just dropping. You're gonna collect your abdominal band and that's an entire wall of muscles from your pubic bone right up to the ribs. So keep the ab wall active. Without changing your spine, roll the shoulders. Just adding the shoulders into this gentle warm-up activity. Breathe deeply, guys, to start oxygenating the blood and loosening up. From here, ascend to neutral with your weight right between the arches of your feet. Drop your chin and roll down, head, neck, shoulders, middle back, lower back. Bend both knees into a little crouch. Inhale, exhale, lift your belly up and roll up, tailbone, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, head. Again, one, two, three, four. Bend your knees. Stretch the legs a little bit, roll up, tuck the tail under, unfurl through the spine. One, two, three, four. Little bend, two, three, four. Stretch the legs, two, three, four. Tuck the tail under, roll up, three, four. Down, one, two, three, four. Little bend, two, three, four. Little stretch. Two, three, four, belly up, tail under, three, 
four. Last time. One, two, three, four. Bend. Little stretch. Two, three, four. Tail under. Two, three. Rise up. Four. Good. From here, just tread in place. Warming up the ankles and toes. Ten calf raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and walk it out. Good. Taking a seat, guys. I'll give you a profile view. Take your feet into parallel. Again, like there's a fist distance between your feet, and I want you to sit up tall. So, biceps can engage. We want you to pull the lats down so the shoulders are low and wide across your back. Breathe deeply. Breastbone pressing forward, collarbones open. So we're gonna get some good posture. We need to strengthen our upper back. We're a culture that slouches and hangs forward over our computer screens. So really open up the back so we can have upright spines for life. Belly to spine here, lifting in your midsection so that your abs are not just collapsing into your legs. Now, pull the abs deeper. Try to keep your height, but round your lumbar. The shortest distance between a, a two points is a straight line, but I wanna try and keep the distance between my shoulders and my hips the same, but extend the line into a curve. Rebound to neutral. So I've got these two points. They're gonna try and stay where they are, but I wanna extend the line in between them by engaging my abs deep into the curve. Rise to neutral. Let's do that two more times. This is an exhale into the curve. This is an inhale. Pull the chest tall and wide. This is an exhale into the curve. This is an inhale. Rise. Now, exhale, curve. Roll down further. Keep that curve. Hold it. Hold it. Scoop the abs up. Then pull the chest tall. Exhale. Curve and roll back, descending towards the floor. Keep the abs flat and firm, rock back up. If you can, go further back. Exhale, rocking down. See if your lumbar can touch the floor. I'm still in this curve shape. Don't know if you can see it from shoulders to tailbone. Then I pull the chest forward, lengthen my spine to tall and neutral. Curve, holding that shape and rising up. Okay, open the chest. We're gonna add in some arms. Curve into this curve shape. Arms open, arms come forward. Belly to spine, rise up. Exhale, open the arms. In, rise up. Two more, and curve. Open the arms, don't let the shoulders down. And rise up, open the chest, last one, curve. Down you come, yeah, reach, rise up. Curve and roll back, all the way into the floor, bring the feet closer, put the hands down. Stretch out your right leg and flex the foot. So it's like your heel is pushing a golf ball along the floor. Hold a neutral spine. So there should be a natural gap here between your lumbar and the floor. The abs are gonna stay flat and firm. So keep that ab wall controlled to hold the spine controlled. Lift the leg, lower the leg. Bend the leg, put the foot flat. Left leg, so the abs remain in control here. Belly to spine. Swing the toes up, lower the heel down. Put the foot flat. And again, right side. Swing, lower. Replace, left, swing, lower, replace, out, up, lower, replace, and out, up, lower, replace, and out. Keep going, lower, replace, and abs nice and firm, lower, replace, two more, out, up, lower, and in, and last one, push. Exhale, rise, down, and good, from here. Um, open your arms to a T, keep your feet together, toes touching the floor, legs touching each other. Let your knees swivel to the right, that can be an inhale. inhale. 
keeping the shoulders flat on the floor. Now feel the abdominal wall uh, firmly press down to the spine, down to the pelvis to bring you home to neutral. Left rotation, exhale, return. Right rotation, exhale, return. Left, exhale, return, right, exhale, return, left, exhale, return, right, exhale, return, feet down. Fist distance apart with the feet, hands beside you, pelvic curl, belly to spine, tuck the tail through the legs, think pubic bone arcing towards the nose, curl up. So you're engaging your feet into the floor, your hamstrings and your glutes. Exhale and roll back through the spinal column, right down through the spine and neutral. Repeat, imprint, pelvic curl, feet and legs engaged. Hands can have a little activation into your mat, that's fine. Roll down, neutral, repeat. Exhale, belly to spine, curl up, and down you go. Exhale, imprint, curl tail between the legs, down into the floor. Exhale, curl up down into the floor from here. Exhale, curl, rise up. Don't let your hips come imbalanced, but pick up one leg, put it down, pick up the other leg, put it down. One leg, put it down, other leg, put it down. Now breathe and roll down, shoulders, middle back, lower back, tailbone. Neutral spine, reactivate. Imprint, curl the tailbone up. Try to hold that curl in the air. Four walking in places. Walking's in place. Two. Three. Four. Balance those hips. Make, roll down. Try to make sure that they stay balanced. Let's do one more set. Curl the tailbone up. Hold your bridge. Again, your hands, they can help. You can push your arms gently into the floor here. Walk in place. Hip bones remain balanced and steady. Hold that pelvic curl. Now roll down into the floor. You're good. Take your fingertips behind your head. Exhale and lift your chest by pressing your abs firmly down. Don't let the shoulders onto the floor here until you're ready to lower back down. So a basic chest lift, lift. abs flat, lift up, exhale, lift, lower down, exhale, lift, and down, exhale, lift, and down. Now we're gonna add a rotation, exhale, lift, keep the shoulders up, it's just a small rotation. I can easily over rotate and roll onto my rib and my shoulder, don't do it, change. Change, 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 change. Last one, change. Now home, lie down. Yeah, good, hands beside you. Stretch out one leg, take the other knee to the sky. Just want to extend the leg and bend it. Extend the leg and bend it. So reach the toes to the sky first. Toes to the sky. Now, I want you to flex the foot and stretch the leg as far as it'll go. Stretch the leg so you'll feel that lengthens your hamstring a bit more. Lengthen and lengthen. Bend, put the foot down, stretch it out. Bring up your other knee, belly to spine here. Extend, just eight extensions of the leg. First with the toes pointed, point. Now you're gonna flex, four more with the flexed foot. Two, three, four. Bend, put it down, okay. Hands remain beside you, start with a neutral pelvis, bring up the right leg, foot into the sky, flex it. Now, 
let that foot reach across your midline. And it's okay to let the pelvis twist with this one. So we're gonna do a traditional leg circle. Come down and around, lock your abs into place to hold the pelvis neutral as the leg finishes the circle out to the outside and up to the top. So first the pelvis twists, pelvis to neutral. Hold neutral, let the leg swing the rest of the circle, come up. Twist and a down, exhale up, a little faster. Twist and a down, exhale up. Good, breathe out for one full circle, up. Now try breathe in for full circle and up. We're gonna pick up the tempo. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Now just change the direction of the circle. Stay neutral pelvis, then release across and up. Neutral pelvis, across and up. Neutral pelvis, across and up. Neutral pelvis, across and up. Bend the leg, put it down, change for the other one. Should be your left in the sky, foot flexed. Belly pressing down firm, twist across. Come to neutral pelvis, complete the circle with the leg. Let's do another slow two, just to explore your range of motion. Now, let's pick up the tempo. Let's have an exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now, other way, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, bend, put the foot down, stretch it out. Good, bend both knees up towards you and just take them towards the chest. I want you to hang out for a moment in a rested position. We're gonna do double leg stretch, single leg stretch into a crisscross. So we'll get everything. Belly to spine, hands hold on tight and pull yourself up to a chest lift. Okay, so your abs can help and for a moment your hands can help. You're gonna push your knees into your hands further so that the knees are aligned over the hip joint. Call this the tabletop position. Hold here. When I let go with my hands in a moment, I don't wanna drop my shoulders back to the mat. We're gonna inhale, exhale, double leg stretch. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, in, exhale, in, out, in, out. Hold one knee, change, 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 change. Hands behind the back, little crisscross. Catch the knees, lie down, hug your knees to your chest, little rest. Little bonus stretch. Open up to a big human X on the floor. Just relax for a moment with your lines extended in all six directions. Four limbs and your spine, tailbone out one way, head and neck out the other way. Now keep your head relaxed on the floor, but take your right hand, paint across your collarbone with the fingertips. Leave your bones heavy, but I want you to slowly roll across so that the right fingertips trace up the left arm. Keep your right toes on the floor behind you. Let the right fingertips pass the left hand and really let your chest just melt over towards the floor as far as it'll go. Now, almost like your fingertips and your toes are having a tug of war. Let the Right toes, win the tug of war and pull you back through the kinetic chain of the body. Leg, 
hip bone, spine, chest. The hand paints back across the chest and opens up to your human X. Now the left hand comes across the chest, up the right arm. Leave your left toes behind you, but twist across. Let your head relax on the floor and let the fingertips weave past the right hand all the way through. Belly to spine, let the left toes pull you back. Leg, hip, waist, chest, and the arm unfurls back to the floor. Good, bend your legs, come back to the middle from here. I want you to uh, take your right hamstring up over you and hold onto it, the back of the leg with your hands. Lift your chest close to this leg, belly flat. I want you to change legs one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, seven and a eight. Keep working as you do, breathe. Try to get the back heel to touch the floor, touch the floor, touch the floor, touch. Touch, bring the knees into you, into the tabletop position. Hold for a moment. Then I want you to sink your belly down into the floor and rock up to a little balance on your coccyx. Grip low on your shins. We're gonna go for a rolling like a ball. If you wanna go back to some ab work, if you've got a slip disc, that might be safer. So be careful if you've had any issues with your lower back, but I wanna curve spine if you can. Inhale and roll back to the shoulders. Exhale, come up to a balance on your coccyx. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try to stop before you get to the neck. Feet down, good. Curve your back, reach your hands to the front. Round down, stretch out your legs. Reach behind the head and lie down with a quiet rib cage. Don't let the ribs explode. Roll up, hands, head, neck. Press the belly down, press the abs into the spine, spine into the floor to come up to your seated roll up position. I'll show you my feet. Curve and roll back, belly to spine, whoa, into the floor. A couple things you can do to help if that's challenging for you. You could put a, tail, a towel in your lumbar so that when you press your abs down, you can feel your spine pushing into the floor to get some feedback. It's like an imprint position. You wanna push the abs into the floor, into the towel to help you come up in your curve. Rolling back down. If that's still not enough assistance, you can bend your knees, so watch. Come up, head, neck, shoulders. Shorten the knees, the legs, so that you can press your spine into the floor. Activate your abs down to get feedback from each vertebrae as you roll up. If you did the bent leg version, just stretch out the legs at the top for a little spine stretch. Everyone together, rolling back down. Again, you can optionally bend the knees to create a smooth journey, but then see if you can straighten them as soon as possible. Let's do a few more chest, curve into the abs, lift, curve back into the floor, down you come, exhale, curve and rise up, down, curve and lie back, up, curve and rise up, and curve and lie back. Everyone, come on up through the roll up to seated, Good, hold for a moment and just rest. Actually flex your feet, sit up tall. We'll do a proper spine stretch. Feet can be about the distance of your mat apart. Let your nose chin dip, let your neck chest dip. Lean forward and curve your back and take a couple of inhale exhales. Now, lift from your center and come up to seated for me. Bring the legs back together and point the toes. Recurve the spine by engaging inward. I want you to lower down halfway, everyone. So don't put your lumbar into the floor. Hold here, nice and flat. Lift a straight leg and down and lift and down. So getting a little hip flexor. Down, up, 
down, keep the belly flat. Keep it flat, keep it flat, keep it flat. Change legs and a lift. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, and a lift. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. Now lift up with your body, press your chest forward, flex your feet, open up to you, mat distance apart. Another spine stretch. Head, neck, shoulders, hands, reaching forward, curving your back. Rise up, open to a T, belly to spine, twist, reach, lift, open, home. Twist, reach, lift, open the arm, home. Twist, reach, Lift, open the arm, come home. Twist, reach, lift, open the arm, come home. Good, from here, legs together. Hands in front of you, clasp the hands either this way or with the fingers laced. Keep the hands right in front of your sternum bone as you twist, exhale, pulse, and twist, exhale, pulse. Pulse, in, out with the breath, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Let the hands fall down behind you, fingers facing your bum, pointed at your bum, feet just fist distance apart, and point the toes. From here, I'll give you a side view actually. From here, don't drop and collapse in the chest. I want you to lift the chest. This is probably the most important feature of your alignment. It's gonna help protect your shoulders and help you get the correct exercise out of all the other muscles. So keep the breastbone pressed up to the ceiling, guys. You're gonna allow the head to lie back like it's going onto a lounge chair as you push with your legs and lift your bum. And keep the chest up as you sit down. Exhale, lift, back support, down. Exhale, lift, keep that chest up. Exhale, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. Three more, lift, down, lift, down, lift, and down. Good, fold your feet together and let the knees open up. One more spine stretch style forward curve. Breathe deeply as you just reach to the front and allow your whole body to round over. Come back up to seated guys. And thank you very much. That's Pilates from me. See you again another time.